start by asking you about Chicago and what it means for you and your, a lot of your players that are from that area get this chance again. I mean, they, they had it last year. They got a little taste of it. You could see how much it meant to a lot of them to play in that building. Yeah, I think any time uh, your players get a chance to play in an NHL building, especially like you said, we got a lot of guys from the area, the Wisconsin kids, the Illinois kids, uh, obviously to play uh, in the building that the, the Blackhawks play in is exciting for them. Uh, last year uh, uh, was our first year of doing it. Uh, and it, it was a, a great event as far as the, the enthusiasm in the building and having, you know, kind of right in between Notre Dame and Wisconsin. I think the, uh, the atmosphere was what we were looking for. And, uh, um, you know, Jack Berry had the big game there last year, so I think it was one of the highlights of our season. So we're looking forward to it, obviously. These are big games for the standings and the, the start of the second half. Um, so Friday night's game, we don't want to get past looking past Friday to, to get thinking about Sunday quite yet. But but uh, it's a big weekend for both teams. Obviously, uh, uh, Notre Dame's coming off a couple tough losses. Uh, I'm sure they'll be ready to play. Would you be in favor of continuing to play in Chicago? Be it yes. Notre Dame. I mean, especially against Notre Dame, but just you know, for, to be in that. Uh, recruiting environment, I know, for you too, is, is, has yeah, some meaning. Yeah, I, I think games like that are just great for college hockey. Uh, it's great for the NHL teams to have you know, two premier college programs in their building. Uh, like you said, from a recruiting standpoint, there's lots of kids in the Illinois area that are elite prospects. Uh, they get a little taste, a different kind of taste of college hockey. So I think it's good we show our sport to different areas. Uh, there, there isn't a team uh, you know, in the state a Division One team, so I think it's important. You know, that's such a. Uh, I mean, there's so many great players that come out of that area. I think it's a it's a good thing for both schools. It's good for college hockey. Uh, it's good for the players on both universities get get that opportunity to play in that building. So yeah, I hope we keep that going for a long time. Right, Tony. You mentioned there's no Division One team in the state of Illinois, but it sounds like Illinois is getting closer. Are you hearing any rumblings from Champaign about how close they Just got be? my fingers crossed that that happens. I think it's a uh, perfect fit. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, to put a building up and to, to get this initial support that's needed is a, uh, a challenge. But I also think that, you know, with, uh, uh, with all of the players that they have in that area, potentially to fill a roster immediately, that if you could pull it off, they could be a respectable opponent, you know, really right out of the gate. So I think it would be great again for college hockey uh, to be able to to have a team in the University of Illinois, and and you know the, the word is that they're getting closer, and and hopefully something will be done where where we can add them to our league in the next couple of years. Would you safe to say? Uh, is it safe to say the Big Ten is wide open? Yes, it's safe. <laughs> Safe for me. I mean, you, you look at. Uh, 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 I think we're, we're, we've been a little bit disappointing in our non-conference play. I think that that was something that surprised me. I thought coming into this year, with with what we had last year, on how all of our teams finished, with four teams, you know, being in the tournament of fifteen, being really, really close. Three of the four, you know, Frozen Four teams were Big Ten teams. I thought this was the year that that we would really. Uh, you know, take over college hockey as far as the, the non-conference series went. Um, for whatever reason, we haven't been able to do that. Um, I think our league is, is still the best uh, conference. Um, and I think that, you know, with what you've seen and, and how the, the, the games have gone, there's been lots of overtimes. There's been lots of close games. Uh, there's been lots of what you would consider upsets. You know, as Michigan State comes back and splits with Penn State, you saw you know, Notre Dame lose two. They didn't lose two last year. I don't think. I don't think they lost back-to-back -back games last year. So, so you're seeing a lot of parity in our conference, and you know, lots of teams around that 500 mark. So, second half of the year is uh, um, going to be the team that can gain some consistency. Uh, obviously, you need goaltending. Your specialty teams will be a big factor in the second half of the year, and and those will be lots of uh, what decides games. Uh, you know, between between any of our teams in our conference. It's exciting. I think it's, it's, it's what we expected. Our conference is competitive. And if you look at, um, you know, even Michigan State this year was a team that's supposed to be picked at the bottom. They can beat anybody on any night for sure and uh, should be a fun second half. Can your team be that team? Yes. Yes, our team can be that team. I think there's been points of this year 
Uh, the last six Big Ten games were something that we should feel confident about. You go into Michigan, you get Penn State at home, uh, and then you finish with Michigan State. We played some very consistent hockey before the break. Um, we're going to have to get back to that. You know, four weeks off, uh, and jumping into the Denver series and having the exhibition game here, we haven't really gotten back into the, the flow that we had before that. So it'll be really important for us. And I think it's good to get a Big Ten opponent in here and, and a big, meaningful game, you know, right out of the gate uh, to get back into Big Ten play on Friday. So uh, we're excited. Um, you know, like I said, the. Uh, the momentum we had before on how we were playing, if we can get back to that level, uh, I like our chances. There are going to be games like we saw, which are going to go down to the third period where where we're going to have to find a way to be the best team in the last 10 minutes of the game because that's been the consistent thing of what we've seen out of our league is close games right down to the wire. And and uh, I like our energy from uh, from uh, uh, especially the way our young guys have played. They've gained more confidence. Our upperclassmen are in a position now. This is you know a last stretch for for our senior players. And I know that they've they've got a ton of pride in how their careers have gone. And they want to finish in the right way. So so it it's, the schedule is going to be competitive. But uh, but I like where we're at. And obviously uh, Friday night's going to be showtime. And hopefully we'll start the second half the way we finished the first half. Todd. Saturday night, you weren't really able to use that game for what you wanted to do as a springboard, maybe for these last seven weeks of the regular season. Is, is that a, a, a something you'll have to address in practice then, or is that no, something you just have well, to get back? I think we, we did in the, in, after the game, and, and uh, we, we won't go dwell on that. You know, an exhibition game is an exhibition game. You don't dress 25 players and expect to go out there and, and play it as serious as you would like to, as far as what you wanted to get out of it. So, so part of that was uh, was was a factor in the game. You know, we saw our starting lineup. We got a left wing defenseman starting on left wing. We got you know mishmash to start it. So, so it wasn't as serious as as I wanted it to be. Um, you know, we didn't. We played 8D, some of those D that didn't get a ton of uh, ice time. Jake Buns played really, really well. Johan played really well in that in the third period. That was exciting to see. Uh, but we didn't play regular shifts. I didn't even keep the line combinations together for most of the game. So, so you know, we saw a lot out of the three players that are coming here next year. Uh, that was a positive thing. Um, and, you know, that game was what it was. It was an exhibition game that we didn't get a whole lot out of, and it's important for us this week in practice uh, to get focused on Notre Dame and, and get ready for our best performance of the year on Friday night. Those line combinations that you were changing around, especially maybe in the third period, uh, anything stick there? Anything that no. you saw that was – or is it just kind no, of it was it we, you, when you got, you know uh, – 14 forwards on the bench. I tried to get everybody in the game as best I could. Uh, some guys, Linus, I played a lot just because he's only played four games in the past two months. So I tried to get him some stuff from a conditioning standpoint. Um, and then, you know, we played some other players in different positions just to play. It's just, you know, so, so there was nothing experimental in the third period at all.